all right guys so i just wanted to shoot this video right here to show y'all what the tesla is pulling out so it's pulling out 79.8 amps out of the batteries 4.1 kilowatts that's what it's pulling to charge my car and let me see i just want to show y'all this real quick and this is what it's telling me and that's around night i got it charging up to like 90 percent so it's going to take six hours and 10 minutes to charge it up to 90 percent i have to do this i have to do trial and error because like i say i want to stop going to the supercharger i just want to start charging directly at home I don't want to use the supercharger anymore, even though it's not expensive as gas, but I just want to charge home now. And, you know, I'm on an off-grid system, so it's saying we got 780 amp hours remaining, 52.2 volts, and it's say 9 hours and 47 minutes until this battery will be drained. And if you've seen on the Tesla, it says 6 hours and 10 minutes remaining so it can be at a hundred i'm about 90 percent so this is my first test and i'm gonna see what the solar do the reason why i'm doing this test tonight is because i want to see what the solar does tomorrow how fast with the solar will the solar charge the batteries back up to 100 percent and that'll let me know if i need to go buy more panels so you know if it don't charge up then i'll add more panels and we'll fix that problem. I definitely want to fix this problem. So this is the first official test running a Tesla off grid. I know nobody ever, somebody, I mean, a lot of people tried to run it off maybe 30 minutes at the most, but I'm gonna show y'all if we can cons like consistently charge these batteries. I mean, uh, run this Tesla off grid. Even though I know you have the Tesla power wall, a lot of people use those, but like I say, the Tesla power wall battery only store up to 13.5 kilowatts with me having all these batteries right here this is 40 kilowatts so you know those and those tesla batteries run about eight nine thousand dollars for one so you would have to have three a little over three you might have let's just say four power walls just to power i mean just to get 40k and you're gonna spend well over forty thousand dollars. And this the Life PO4 EG4 batteries and the Gill batteries, even though they don't, they discontinued the Gill batteries, but it's pretty much the same as the EG4 batteries. It's like fifteen hundred without tax, you know, fifteen hundred a battery. So to get forty k, it's gonna cost you almost a little under fifteen thousand dollars. So. I just wanted to shoot this video, like I say, just to show y'all that I'm pulling 80 amps out of the batteries. My Tesla is running 220, it's 220 and it's pulling 4.1 kilowatts. And it's gonna take nine hours and 43 minutes to, uh, uh, 42 minutes now to deplete the batteries. But it's gonna cut off way before that because it's saying six hours and 10 minutes to charge the Tesla. So. I shoot a video in the morning letting y'all know what the Tesla did or if I'm up when it do cut off then I'm gonna I shoot a video and show y'all what you know what happened if it cut off or if it charged up to 90% I think I got it at 92% I believe so I definitely shoot that video and the reason why y'all hear all that humming is because I have I'm washing clothes right now so my house is running off of the U ufo ufo batteries and it's running off this 12k but eventually the grow wide is going to charge the tesla because the mpp solar is just a 5k you know that's that's that, that's all i can pull out of that inverter is five kilowatts and this one i can pull 12 kilowatts out of so eventually i'm going to switch over the light po4 batteries to the grow wide and then the ufo batteries is going to be ran off of the mpp solar so like i say i hit i shoot the video in the morning so i'll see y'all in the morning all right i'm back good morning and i wanted to show you all this so we had 313 amp hours 51.7 volts bringing 39 
39 amps out the batteries 2,000 watts and you see that 39% 7 hours and 57 minutes I forgot to tell y'all once the Tesla get close to charging the uh, the kilowatts drop down so it's not going to bring 4,000 4,000 watts out the, it's not going to pull 4,000 watts out the battery the whole time because getting closer to the depletion I mean the complete time for the charge let me show y'all where we at on the charge so that's where we at 92% which I think that's what I set it to 92% so it's pretty much getting ready to stop charging so first test is complete the only thing I need to see is how long the solar is going to charge these batteries back up while I'm at work so I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna shoot a video when I get back. But I'm pre I'm probably gonna upload this video and then I'm gonna start the next video on showing y'all how the solar did with the uh, eight eight batteries. Cause like I y'all gotta remember, I only have four batteries, which was 20 kilowatts. Was these four gill batteries down here i only had them four batteries charged on the solar that i have now and all i did was add four more batteries so i definitely want to see today we should have a sunny day today and i'm gonna show y'all when i get back home on how um on how to uh, solar charge the batteries and i'm not going to charge at the supercharge tonight i'm coming straight home because that's the whole reason why I bought all these batteries because I want to charge the Tesla every day at my house. And I know I got to get the solar right. We going into spring. Summertime is going to be perfectly fine. But the wintertime is when you pretty much had a problem with the solar. But, you know, it's trial and error. So I got to do it. And you definitely got to train these batteries. Because these batteries need to know what it's going to be doing. So I'm working the batteries. I'm showing the batteries what it's gonna be doing every day. It's gonna be charging my Tesla and it's probably gonna be running my three ton AC unit. So right now I temporarily just have this set up on the MPP solar 5K inverter, but it's not gonna be, that wire is running to my, uh, this wire right here, this wire is running to my charger, to the Tesla charger outside. And I'll show y'all that in a minute. So this is temporary, don't, trust me, this is temporary. All, all I'm doing is trying to see if I can charge my Tesla. And if it works, this this wire right here, which is my charger, to my Tesla charger, is gonna be ran in my grow wires. I'm gonna run it down in the wall and it's gonna come out into my grow wire. This is temporary, trust me. I am just testing my uh, charge, me charging the car. So I'm gonna drop this video. Y'all gonna see me drop this video and the next video is gonna start. It's gonna start with, can I get my uh, solar panels to charge these eight batteries back up to 100%. So y'all stay on the lookout for the new video. I mean the next video. So I'm gonna do a series of videos. It's gonna be a whole bunch of videos of me charging my car to show y'all that, if to see if this can work or if it can't. So I'll see y'all in my next video.